All right, welcome to Mechanics of Materials, all right? I, and some, some other universities call this Strength of Materials, um, but uh, we call it Mechanics of Materials. Um, and I hope you have got the notes, maybe get the notes if, if you don't have them, either the electronic copy or print them out, or if you're in, in person, you can buy them from ASCE. Um, but get the notes for our, our Mechanics class. Here we're building on statics, all right? So hopefully you passed, you had to pass statics with a C or better uh, in order to get in this class. So uh, we're gonna take everything we've done from statics and then add this on top of it. Some of these problems, you have to do a statics problem to begin with just to find the forces. And now in this class, we're taking those forces and we're finding the stresses, right? We're kind of opening up the beam and saying, okay, you've got all these forces on you. What do you feel on the inside? It's almost a psychology course. We're cutting it open and seeing the stress uh, that these forces are causing on the beam. I don't know. Is anybody feeling stresses be due to forces? Uh, there are really some analogies. One day I'll, I'll tie those together a lot better. Um, but it's an interesting class, I think. We're going to talk about failure. All right, we're going to talk about strain. Uh, you know, some of this stuff could, could really be fit our lives right now. But we're mostly talking about beams under stress and how they strain, how they stretch, how they deform, how they fail. Um, um, when they are under these stresses. All right, so don't forget anything you got from statics. We are building on top of it. Make sure you got the notes because the notes follow along with my videos, right? I don't think the videos are that great uh, unless you have the notes that you're following along and filling them in. There's something about writing with your hand and your pencil that connects it up here. Uh, and so don't just passively watch, uh, really fill in the notes while you're watching. And so for my class, you get credit for uh, filling in those notes and submitting it after uh, every day. Um, so, so this is mechanics. One thing about mechanics, so we have a recitation, um, which is not a lab. Um, it's, it's sort of an extra problem session that the TAs host. In the past, the TAs have worked out problems because this class more than sex dynamics, this class has more longer and difficult problems than those other classes. And so I, 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 I do a decent job, but we can't put too many problems in the lectures. So we create a recitation section for the TAs to give you more problems. Cause I, I love problems. Y'all know that the way I teach is by doing problems. So the more problems we can do. So anyway, we have recitation that the TAs are um, hosting. They used to teach live by hand, but I think this semester I'm just we're going to give them a couple of problems that they are going to post solutions and hopefully good solutions to those problems. Uh, and we're going to use the recitation time for tutoring, for question and answer, for please, you know, show up. Hey, show up and work on your homework. Even if you don't have questions about it, use that recitation time to work on your homework. And then when you have a question, ask our TA uh, to, to, to help you. They are great graduate students. They're smart. Uh, they hopefully know, and I think they've, they've been mechanics uh, TAs before, so they know the material. So, so that is how our mechanics course is going to go. This course more than others, it's a lot of material and I think it's material you haven't seen before. You know, my statics and dynamics course, you may have seen those in physics. Our mechanics, I don't, I don't think you've seen this before. And I think that makes it pretty interesting, a lot more interesting and more fun for me to teach you things that, you know, you, you, nobody's taught you before. So, uh, I like this class because it's, I think it's more difficult than statics and dynamics. Um, I think it's a lot more material. It's, um, new things that you haven't seen, but it's interesting. You know, we're getting more and more like real life, you know, problems that you're going to see in your jobs, your civil engineering, uh, aerospace engineering, all engineering. You're going to look at stresses of materials because you don't want them to fail. You know, you don't want them to uh, fall over, explode, you know, um, to fail. So um, this is an important and a fun class. I think it's fun. 
Uh, so I hope that you'll uh, think it's, you know, a little bit fun. Okay? All right. I'm looking forward to it.